Ziad and I were actually both doubled up in a vehicle together. Uh, I had just transferred up to Anya Nuevo, and uh, so he was giving me an orientation to that area. And so we were together for about a half hour, and then we heard a call go out for a water rescue for a surfer in distress at Davenport Landing. It was in the middle of a winter, El Nino winter, um, where we've had extreme surf all winter, and this, this swell in particular was one of the top probably three biggest swells. So it's hard for me to believe when we got the call that there was actually somebody in the water. So when I heard this come out up north, I was like, wow, if it's big in town, it's big up north. Davenport Landing, there's, it's a unique area where it's a small bay and on each side of the bay there's two reefs. So you get waves, all the large waves are focused on those reefs and in the middle of the bay that's, there's a huge rip current and that's how our victim got in trouble in the first place. He basically got swept out in that rip current. So for me I just paddled directly straight out in that rip current. It's the safest route out. So yeah, for me it was, it was I had to go because he'd already hit the water. I knew that you know, I trust Dan, he's, he's helped train me my whole career, and I know if he was going, I had to back him up. A couple uh, paddles in, I kind of realized, wow, I have no idea how big it actually is up here. I was definitely heightened awareness and kind of kind of questioning whether I should be here, but knowing that, you know, a partner of mine was already out ahead, there's someone out there that needs help, and so those thoughts just kind of get pushed on the back burner, and you do what you're trained to do. So at that point I was suited up already, and so the incident command sent me in to go back these two up. So I was good probably 10 minutes behind him. So I was first one on scene, and at that time he was approximately 600 yards offshore. There wasn't a lot of wasted time talking. Like I said, the goal was just to get him back to shore as quickly as possible so we didn't have to, our biggest concern was it getting dark out there, and then we, we would be in a, we'd be in trouble then. Clearly needed three people on this rescue. Because after we did reach the, the victim, getting a man was, was the most difficult part. So we kind of knew we had to either work together or no option, or, or lose this victim. Yeah, I mean, I mean I've, I've known both of these guys for a long time, and it's just, we both, all of us have a love for the ocean, and this is just a part of it, this job, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a memory that I'll share with all these three for the rest of my life, and I get to share with my family, with my kids, and that's yeah, powerful stuff.